I don't know why my camera battery is in here. I'm the worst at keeping up with things and it shows why. It's now a mystery, my berets. I want to keep my berets in here because they're quite hard to find whenever I do want to wear them. I'm always asking my husband, like, have you seen this? Have you seen that? These little bows that I bought and will never, ever wear. <laughs> Oh, I haven't worn this headband. I forgot that I even had this. This is so cute. It's like a velvet bow headband. And then these are the old ones that I used to wear. If you don't remember, at the start of my channel, I used to always wear these. So I think I'll throw this one away. Yeah, this one has two marks. And then my Dominican flag. of them. I actually want to start wearing my scarves again. I started wearing these recently. My husband gets very nostalgic when I start to wear my scarves again because before we got married scarves were like my thing. Like I would always wear them around my head and it was just like me getting in touch with my Caribbean side. <laughs> there we go. Perfect fit. picked it up. I also made curry lentils which is like my new favorite way to make lentils. Before I actually didn't like lentils that much but now I love curry lentils. So yummy. I just seasoned the chicken prior with salt and pepper and garlic and that was just about it and it tastes really really great. I just had dinner with my husband and he was so kind enough to wash the dishes so all I really have to do is just put up the food the dinner was so delicious so one of my favorite food is Indian food and my husband had picked up that um, he had picked up tikka masala sauce and then the other day when he went to the grocery store he picked up that butter chicken and then karma chicken Oh, this is my dad calling. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my father, but I wanted to share with you dolls. Oh, anyways, the dinner was so, so good. And I've always wanted to try cooking Indian food, but I noticed like they have just like so many spices, like, and it tastes really good because of that, you know, but it's like cumin, coriander, um, <sighs> you know, turmeric powder, curry powder. There's just like a lot, a lot. <laughs> and so it's like a lot to commit to. But, you know, I made curry lentils and that was from scratch. So I have like some of the seasonings, but I don't have all of them. So I'm just really happy that they have like the little jars and it tastes really good to me. So I really, really like it. But anywho, okay. So the Black Friday stuff, right? 
So I ended up buying like a couple things, more than what I thought. And so I already did like a blog post on the things that I recommend to buy, you know, like really good sales and deals. But so I did, the, the first one that I mentioned was Adore Me was having like a really, really good sale. And prior to Black Friday, I just did an order from, from them. So I bought like three new sets. I really should have, I, I really should have waited until Black Friday. But I ordered from them like a week before Black Friday. Now it's like December. And two weeks later, I still haven't gotten it. I have no shipping update and I contacted customer service and they ended up giving me like a $10 credit, but I still have no update on my order. And I was supposed to get it within three to seven business days. And it's just like way over now. I have no idea like when I'm going to get it and I want to get it and kind of like do a little blog post or mention it in the vlog in, a, in an upcoming housewife diary almost like a first impressions review on it because I've seen their like commercials before but I never really tried them out so we're waiting on that but I did get like two different orders from Saks one of the tops is in my um, feminine casual capsule wardrobe for the fall and winter season um i did pick up a new dress got like a pink tweed set and unfortunately that just is not i hate buying online and then you get it in person and it does not look as substantial as it does online so i am going to return that like tomorrow honestly because i'm pretty upset <laughs> i'm well not upset i'm pretty disappointed i bought this cute set right it's a skirt this matching top isn't it like so me like with this matching top this is like from the same brand that i purchased my burgundy sweater collar dress that i showed in my old money lookbook so i thought like this was about to be my new favorite affordable brand look at this it has sequins in it it's a tweed material i already don't really like rainbow like i don't know i feel like rainbow is just like it's just not really my style but the pink and the black and the gold buttons obviously my style but the sequins these sequins just killed me. But I was hoping to mix and match this skirt with other pieces inside of my wardrobe. But the sequins makes it have like a rough texture. And I used to like, I used to love sequins whenever I was like 9, 10 years old. Sometimes sequins can be done tastefully. But it's very rare, honestly, in my opinion. I feel like sequins make tweed look cheap to me like it makes it look like a cheaper material unless it's like a holiday dress or something like that but this here like what I had it intended it's like sequins plus rainbow it's a bit too like I like a more sophisticated pink tweed okay I thought this would be another Jackie Kennedy moment but it's not <laughs> and plus it has like little shoulder pads which is a little, it's a little 80s, plus the little rainbow. I will show you dolls the rest of it tomorrow or later on, the rest of the Black Friday purchases. But this was a uh, goodbye. I wish I could keep these buttons though. Look at the buttons. She's back. Dolls, this is the next items that I got for Black Friday. I did get this dress, dolls, and of course, the fan. We had to bring back the fan. You'd all see my last Housewife Diary vlog. I got the pink one, but it was longer. The same style, so I got the white one on sale. Should I bring out my southern accent? Or maybe my Caribbean accent? Romance novel. <laughs> Hi dolls. I just wanted to do a quick mini review of the shoes that Vivia or Vivia sent me. They sent me these shoes back in August and I told them that I would do like, you know, just give my honest thoughts. All of these shoes are fabric. They're supposed to be like sustainable and all of that good stuff. And the black pair of shoes, those are my most favorite ones, but they are three hour shoes. As in, once you hit the three hour mark, they are painful because they are fabric and they kind of like brush up against your toes and your feet. I do like them and I will continue to wear them. Now the white cap toe ones, 
Those ones are one hour shoes, okay? The friction on that one is way more intense. They're cute shoes, they're aesthetically pleasing, but nah. Like, <laughs> I would not rebuy those or get those again. And these black shoes, they're fine. I do wish that they had like a, a taller heel, but for everyday boots with a thin pair of socks, and I don't really gravitate towards them. But I just wanted to give you dolls my honest review because they asked me for an honest review. So after wearing them, that's my thoughts, okay? Thank you to Bavaya for sending them over to me. I really do appreciate it. And again, I did wear them in my Chanel inspired outfits and my old money lookbook. So those videos will be linked there. <laughs> This man goes to the gym. How often? Like five days a week. Dolls, we played. I won both rounds, okay? Both rounds. There's there's no point of a round three because I won both. It's like, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just the athlete in this relationship, you know? I'm happy that he goes to the gym and trains every day so he can be like very athletic like me. 